request for quotation module makes it easy to get up-to-date pricing for the products and services that you need to run your business and encourages competition between your suppliers so you get the best possible deal. It's fast and easy to create new RFQs in SpendMap, and once you receive bids and pick a supplier, you can convert or flip the RFQ into one or more purchase orders with no duplicate data entry. There's even a handy vendor portal where your suppliers can respond to their RFQs and enter their pricing for you online. If you're using the optional requisitions and approvals module and need to get price quotes before actually placing orders with your suppliers, approved requisitions can be converted or flipped into RFQs rather than building purchase orders from requisitions directly. And of course you can enter new RFQs from scratch in your RFQ work area, which you can get to using this menu option or this toolbar button. So here's your RFQ work area. If you've ever created purchase orders in SpendMap, you'll feel right at home. Since the screens are so similar, I'm just going to highlight some of the differences between the RFQ and purchase order work areas, but if you'd like to see more details, check out our video tutorial on entering purchase orders in SpendMap. So one of the main differences between purchase orders and RFQs is the supplier field. While a purchase order is always only ever for one supplier, RFQs can be sent to as many suppliers as you like to get competitive pricing. Notice how the supplier's address and other RFQ header fields can be different for each supplier on the RFQ. The RFQ due date and time are also things that you won't see on the purchase order header screen. If you still haven't received your supplier's price quotes by this date, the RFQ will show as late in the RFQ status utility and you can get a listing of late RFQs over here. If you like, you can enter internal notes for the RFQ or for individual suppliers, like maybe reminder notes or a to-do list. As for the line item details, it's all the same as the purchase order work area, other than the price field of course. When the RFQ is eventually awarded and flipped into a purchase order, the resulting PO will be populated with the successful supplier's quoted price. As for the rest of the fields, like the account coding and delivery date and so on, you can enter this information on your RFQs if you like, and it'll all carry forward to the resulting purchase order when the time comes, or you can leave these fields blank on your RFQs and just fill them in when you create the purchase order later in the process. Another difference you'll notice between POs and RFQs is the way the forms look. Unlike your purchase orders, the RFQ form will have empty spaces where your suppliers can enter their pricing, terms, and other details. And the instructions down here at the bottom of the form will likely also be different as well. And just as a reminder, in addition to printing or emailing your RFQ forms to your suppliers for them to fill out and send back to you, they can also use SpendMap's vendor portal to review their RFQs and submit their pricing online instead. We'll talk more about the supplier portal in a little bit. Now let's take a look at how you can enter or review your supplier's pricing and award the RFQ to a supplier. And again, if your suppliers are using the supplier portal, all the data entry will be done for you and all you need to do is award the order to the supplier with the best offer. You can get to the award utility using this menu option or this toolbar button. So here's a list of all the open RFQs in the system. If an RFQ in the list is red, it's because it's late, meaning that it's past the RFQ due date and the bids still haven't come in. I'll double click to drill into this RFQ, and here's a list of all the line items that we need pricing on. Let's take a look at the details of one of these line items. So here's where you can enter or review the supplier's pricing for this line item. Again, you can enter the pricing, delivery date, terms, and other details in here manually, or your suppliers can do the data entry for you in the supplier portal. When the time comes, this button is used to award the order to your supplier of choice, typically the supplier with the lowest price. This can be done on a line-by-line -line basis, so you don't necessarily have to award the entire RFQ to a single supplier. If you award different items to different suppliers, SpendMap will split the RFQ and build multiple purchase orders, one for each supplier. If you're working on a very large RFQ with many line items, it may be convenient to view a summary of all the line items on the RFQ at once. Here you can see a total cost of all the line items on the RFQ by supplier. And of course to save time, you can award the entire RFQ to a single supplier with one click instead of awarding the RFQ on a line-by-line -line basis. And again, once they're awarded to the successful suppliers, RFQs can be converted or flipped into one or many purchase orders or purchase requisitions with no duplicate data entry. All the details from the RFQ will carry forward to the resulting PO or requisition, including the successful supplier's pricing. So those are the basics of how you can create and manage your RFQs in SpendMap. And remember, the time and effort that you take to go out to bid will come back to you many times over by way of lower prices. Enjoy the savings, SpendMappers!